Today, we're gonna be making piggy characters ultra realistic. Wow. Oh my goodness, did you hear that? Ah, uh, I don't think we're alone. Please, hit the like button right now. You have to get me out of this creepy forest. Oh no, they're coming. Quick, quick, do it now. <sighs> wow, close call. Wait a minute, something smells really good. You have got to be kidding me. You suck, Uncle so in punching Roblox, it's the least you can do for feeding me to the pigs, guys. First things first, I need to decide on which piggy character I want to create. Okay, so this is the image that we're gonna be working with. Look how cute she actually is. Aww. And I need to make this as realistic as possible. So what I'm gonna do is just take this design over here and just uh, do a little something like this. As seeing as what the first chapter was, I think it's only fair that I put this piggy inside of a house. And I think I found a dress that is quite similar that might look good on our piggy avatar. And now we just need to put it on our body and start shaping it. What I'm gonna do now is come to the warp tool and start placing this in the right place so that it actually looks like piggy's dress. And yep, something like this is pretty good. The next thing I think I'm gonna do is get myself the baseball bat. Okay, and we just need to line our new bat up with the uh, uh, old bat's placement, which is pretty much perfect like that. Now, I just want to change the color of this bat a little bit because at the minute, it's a bit too orange and the actual bat, as you can see, is a bit more green. The next thing I needed to do is find myself some piggy arms or legs. Okay, so I'm making some adjustments to the arm because I just didn't like how they looked before. And I have to be honest, so far, I am preferring this one so much more. Oh, that looks so much better. Okay, now I just have to do the exact same thing for the the other side. Okay, so far we're happy with most of that. There's a few other things I do need to change and uh, I just want to add some shadows and stuff, but I'll do that at the end. Next, we need to do this really hard part of creating the piggy head. So let's cut this out just like that. <laughs> It's so big. Next up, I just found these amazing ears. I really like this one on this side, so I'm just gonna take this. Okay, now we got our ear on that side. I'm literally just warping this one to make it look a little bit different. I don't want these ears looking exactly the same. Okay, and now we're gonna try and do the face using probably the cutest big face I think I've ever seen. Look at this guy. Are you kidding me? Something like that. Now, let's see what it looks like colorized real quick. Let's just blend these ears in a little bit. I'm gonna make sure they blend really nicely. Okay, so now we're looking like this. I wanna change the eyes. I really don't like them. I think they just make the pig look too cute. So we're literally just gonna erase these right now with a couple of clicks like that. But I think now it's time to give us those really creepy piggy eyes. So let's get these eyes like this. And let's start making this piggy look absolutely terrifying. Now, obviously, piggy has one red eye, so we do need to still do something over here. Something like that is looking pretty good. Okay, so now that we've put all the items together, what we're gonna wanna do is actually start shading this to make it all match. And this is the part that could take a little while. Okay, now the shading has been done. The pig is really starting to come together, but we do need a shadow, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is my first finish design. I have to be honest, I'm pretty happy with it. Next up, I'm gonna do one of my personal favorites, which is Mr. Stitchy. Now, if you guys want to see me do any others, make sure you comment them down below and I'll do them in the next video. So because it isn't really a definitive thing that he's wearing inside of this, I'm personally going to give him a boiler suit. So yep, I found my boiler suit and now I'm just cutting it out. And now simply, I want to change the color to make it as dark as possible without losing my texture. So I think something like that is pretty good. So I decided to add these small little boots, which you're not really going to see anyway when I add some smoke. But the next thing I want to do is add some hands, one for the lantern and one for him just to have a hand out. So I think I'm actually going to go with gloves because I feel like that way it will be like dark hands rather than skin colored hands. Okay, and so far, so good. <laughs> Now, this is where things are going to get a little bit tricky, ladies and gentlemen, because I need to make his head, which is really going to be difficult to make. So, after going on Google, I actually found a mask that I actually own IRL. Okay, so first things first, we kind of need to remove the eyes and mouth. Next, I just want to change the color a little bit because it's way more yellow than it looks. 
So something like that, ladies and gentlemen, with a tiny bit more saturation. Now we're just gonna remove the background using this amazing tool that I only discovered recently. Seriously, what the heck? Now we literally just wanna uh, make this mask a little thicker like that and simply overlay it on the circular head we have here. The next thing I wanna do is add the eyes. So I think I'm just gonna make like a weird eye here. Okay, so now we have to make the eyes, which is gonna be really difficult seeing as I don't even know how to do bare eyes. This could definitely be used for the right eye. Oh my goodness. Obviously at the minute it looks a bit too cute, but it won't do for long. Eye number one is in position. I also just found this eye as well, which could be perfect for the inside, but it's gonna need a lot of adjustments. It needs to be brighter. So I'm literally just going to come to the saturation and make it as bright as I possibly can. And then make it like a dark, reddy, orangey color. Next, I'm going to duplicate it and then blur it. Yeah, something like that looks pretty good to me. Now we just need to do a, a normal eye on the other side. And again... I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Okay, this isn't looking too bad. We just need to add some shade so it doesn't look too weird. Something a bit like that. Also, a bit of a gradient. I want the eye to look as real as possible. And I think one way to make that look a lot more realistic is just to add some eye veins. And I think one way just to make this look a lot more realistic and less cartoony is just to add some eye veins. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah, maybe something like that. I, I don't know. Anyways, it is now time for me to start making this actually look like a scene. So let's get this guy out of here. Yeet. Okay, so just like last time, I'm gonna focus on the shading of my character first. Next, I really wanna add some fog or smoke in two places. One will be the foreground, where I will literally just have it really low on the ground, kind of like this. And then I also want it in the background as well, but uh, a lot deeper. And now all I wanna do is just merge the background with the foreground, add a few highlights, and this is what it's gonna look like. And there we go, something just like that. Okay, so again, looking at them side by side, I actually think we did a pretty good job in this. If I had to change anything, I probably would just change the shape of the body a little bit. It kind of looks a little bit too man-like. But yes, there is finally time for one more, even though these are taking so long. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be original Mr. P. Okay, this is the man we are going to be trying to create. He's a potato. It's kind of weird looking. And because of how long this is taking, we need to get a move on. I need to get myself the perfect Mr. P body, a.k.a. A potato. And I'm pretty sure he has a slight dent in one side. So let's make sure we get that detail. I think it's on this side. There we go. And now I was thinking it would be quite hard to make his eyes. But I think I'm actually just going to use the inside of a potato. Is that weird? Okay, and now I've got my eyes. Let's see how they look. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad at all. Next up, I need to get myself that weird cowboy hat that he has. Okay, so let's just change the color slightly of this. I want to add a bit of saturation and just whack that this way a little bit. This is what we have so far. <laughs> Next up, we need a mustache. And I think this could be our guy. Okay, now I don't actually know what the mouth is made of, so this is gonna be really hard. My guess is that they have to be made of lips, right? So what I think I'm gonna do is take the bottom lip of somebody's mouth and just completely alter it. It's so weird that I'm using somebody's mouth right now. Ah, oh, it looks like a worm! And let's bring that in, and then let's just make sure that we get it exactly in the right place. And now we just need to change the color to red. Okay, I feel like the arms and legs are where things are going to get difficult. So what I'm actually going to do right now is literally just copy these legs like this. Then I'm going to come to the pre-existing potato that we have. Find a spot that I like, maybe around about here. And I'm just going to copy it, bring it down, and stick them back down where they belong. Just like that. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I do need to add some shadow to this arm because it would never look like that. It would never just, like, recede behind the uh, potato there. Okay, and there is a delicious, juicy potion like that. Now, this is obviously, so far, just a basic version of this. Now, it is time to make this realistic. Okay, so I decided to make a few changes to the eyes and add some shading. The final details I'm gonna do now is add a background and also do something with this potion, and I think we're done. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is a realistic Mr. P. If you guys wanna see me do more of these videos, then you know what to do comment down below who you would like to see me do next these take a really long time to do in fact each one has taken me around about 45 minutes so i would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button to join the team today again guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video goodbye <laughs>